The truth will set you free, but first it'll piss you off. Shout out to them people, 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 people. What's pop YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dope Ass Panda and today I'm going to show you guys how I created this wig from start to finish using three bundles and one closure from Long Key Hair. This is their Malaysian body wave and I'm using the inches 16, 18, and 20. And I absolutely love this hair guys. It was super soft, didn't have any type of scent to it. I did get a little bit of initial shedding from the bundles and the closure um, but it's still really full from the top all the way to the ends at the bottom and I'm just showing Showing you guys the weft here so the first thing I did was bleach my closure and this is the original closure that was sent to me without it being bleached so you guys can already see that the lace is kind of brown the texture of it is super beautiful it matched the hair perfectly and this is after I bleached it I just wanted to make the part look a little bit more natural and I do have a video on my channel that already shows how I um, bleach my closures so I'll link that in the description section for you guys to check out but look how much more natural that part looks and y'all I'm sorry that I'm so ashy but like as I'm doing hair like I wash my hands a lot so that's why I'm always fucking ashy in all my videos it's so irritating here I am using just a spandex wig cap and this is how I'm going to be making my wig or this is what I'm going to be making it on and this one was one size fits all which I'll never buy again because it's big okay so next I'm gonna take some t-pins and I'm gonna pin my closure down on my spandex cap all the way at the edge so you just want that excess lace to be hanging over and I'm gonna be pinning it down really tight and snug because when you're sewing down your closure you just want to make sure that it doesn't have any wrinkles in it so when I'm sewing it in I'm taking the needle underneath the cap and um, through the closure and I am um, like pulling the needle through the loop just to make it hold a little bit more tight. And as you're sewing it down, um, same thing, you just wanna make sure that your closure is laying flat. And so you can see that I'm taking the pin and like moving them around and pinning them where I need them to be. When I start sewing down my closure, I do one side and then I switch over to the other side. And then I'll do the back after I have done both sides. And that's just the easiest way for me to help make sure that my closure lays flat. Like I don't like to sew from one side all the way around to the other side. So I just do this to just make sure like there's enough tension and it's gonna be laying flat. So here I'm just going to be throwing some tape on my mannequin head to make sure that my wig doesn't stick to it um, as I'm gluing it. And really I should have done this in the beginning but I totally forgot so you can do this before you sew on your closure. So next I'm going to be gluing all my tracks and I'm using a hot glue gun to do this that I purchased from Walmart. And you just want to make sure that you work quickly so you want to put the glue down and then I already pre-measure my tracks so I know where they're going to stop and end and I put those on top of the glue as quick as I can. The hot glue gun is pretty much just like the 30 second weave glue. It's going to dry up really quickly so you have to work you know at a fast pace you don't have to cut your tracks if you don't want to you can do the fold over method but I personally don't like to do that because I like my wig to be like as flat as possible and so I do cut my tracks when I'm making wigs if you end up getting the hot glue on the actual like weave hair don't worry about it because once it dries it just comes off really easily um, you can either comb it out or just pick it out with your fingers but um, of course you want to try not to get it on there as much as possible as you're laying your tracks on, you want to try to keep them close together so that you don't have super huge gaps um, because that will show when you put on your wig. So just try to make sure that you keep your tracks as close as possible. I was able to fit pretty much all three bundles in here. I had one little piece that was maybe like three or four inches left and I'll show you guys that at the end of me gluing these pieces on.
when I'm gluing down the tracks, I'm trying to keep that U shape. And so sometimes I'm putting tracks from ear to ear and the other ones I'm filling in in the middle. I just want to make sure that I'm keeping that U shape and there's no extreme gaps in between my tracks. Once I get to the last piece that I'm going to be going on at the top, I make sure I put that as close to the closure as possible. And I do do this last piece in sections. Um, so I do like one side, I do the back, and then I do the last side. And that's just because you want to make sure that you don't put too much glue and that it's super neat because your closure needs to lay over this last track and it needs to be perfect. So I glued down my last piece and I'm just showing you guys that I have about three to four inches left from that third bundle. And now I'm going to flip my wig inside out and I'm going to be cutting out that excess uh, wig cap that is where my closure is because I want my closure to show obviously. So we need to cut that excess part out and you do want to be careful that you don't cut the actual lace and you don't cut um, to like you don't cut the stitches out. So just really take your time with that. I just wanted to show you guys the original texture of the hair before I style it. Um, as I said before in the beginning of the video, it's Malaysian Body Wave. The closure texture is just a little bit different and that's because, like I said, I bleached and washed it. And so that's why I'm going to be curling this unit. But as you guys can see, my tracks are really close together. The wig looks nice and full and this hair is super soft. I absolutely love it. So here I'm just taking my wand and adding some curls to it. I have to style it. Um, I'm not going to separate the curls until the wig is actually on my head and that's just like how I like to do it personally but I'm just curling it and then I'm just spraying it down with spritz to make sure it holds that curl but guys like this hair curled beautifully. I had no issues with curling this at all which is popping because I always say this in every <laughs> video that I do a weave hair but I love curly hair so um, I was super excited that this curled and I'll show you guys the finished product. So guys, here's the finished product and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I haven't separated the curls yet, so it will probably get just a little bit bigger than this, but I am in love with this wig, guys, and my only complaint about it would be that the wig cap that I used was super big, so I'm going to have to finesse that. And I'll make sure that once I'm done with my installation video, I link that in the description section for you guys to check out. If you guys want to see how I put this on and slay the part and do all of that, I'm going to put it all on camera for you guys. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.